By the way, this is a latte. It's good. Welcome back to Gishelle Tech TV. If you're new to the channel, it's nice to meet you. My name is Gishelle and this channel is all about sharing my tech journey. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content here and if you're interested in staying connected with my tech journey. Also, before I begin, I wanted to mention that this week I'll be hosting two live chat coding sessions. If you'd like to join in, I'm working through a coding course right now on MDN, so feel free to come hang out and join this Thursday and Friday. More info will be posted to the channel on those days, so stay tuned. So a couple of months ago, I posted a video on what I do as an email developer. Since then, I have gotten a lot of great questions about email development, so I've decided to answer them in this video, mainly the ones that I get a lot. And full disclosure, email development is now my former role, Former role, former role, <laughs> former role. <laughs> Look, if you've watched my recent video, full-time versus contract developer, you'll know that I've been focusing on more contract work. And I explain why in that video, and I'll be talking about that part of my journey as well. Regardless of that, I'm still happy to answer questions about email development from my experience in that role. All right, so let's chat. First, I'm just going to kind of go over the list of questions that I have received in the comments on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter as well, and I kind of combine them together um, for this video. So the top questions I get a lot are, how did you learn email development? Such as, did you take a course, do tutorials, etc.? What technologies do you work with as an email developer? What was the test and interview process like for email development? So I'll be covering those questions in this video. I've also answered questions in the comment sections of that video if you'd like to check those out. Also, even though this is a pre-recorded video, drop questions in the live chat as well. If you are an email developer, feel free to answer any questions that come through the live chat. Of course, none of us have all the answers, but I wanna help out as much as I can. That's why I wanted this to be kind of a live chat sort of video. So drop your questions as I'm kind of going over the questions here. And um, let's talk. So for the first question, how did you learn email development? So I did not learn email development per se. I learned or already had knowledge of HTML and CSS, which were the skills that the job posting was asking for. Because those were the skills needed to do the job, not necessarily email development in and of itself. Also, I really wasn't going after email development roles. I was actually going after roles where I could apply more of my front end skills. And this role happened to pop up in my search and I thought it was interesting. I had no idea that that email development was even a thing. I had to Google it. Like what the heck is email development? So I basically discovered this whole new world and I wanted to learn it, especially to get experience in something new. Even some job postings I've seen now have email development as a plus alongside web development. But just knowing HTML, CSS was enough for this job. And as far as learning how to build emails and how it all works, I learned it all on the job. Although before I started, I did do some research just to see what email development was. And I I found a tutorial on YouTube from W3Newbie and it was called Build Responsive HTML Email Templates with HTML Tables and CSS. And it was quite helpful in understanding how it all worked. I also did W3Newbie's Udemy course. Is it Udemy or Udemy? Is it Udemy? Okay. And the course is HTML Email Mastery build responsive HTML email templates. And I did these prior to starting. And these actually helped me get prepared for the job itself. There's no possible way I could have prepared for everything the job involved because each company has its own process. So overall, I learned on the job was just having knowledge of HTML and CSS. So the next question, which technologies do you work with as an email developer? The technologies I worked with were HTML and CSS. There are additional tools that you may be required to learn depending on the company's process of building emails. But but as far as code, just HTML and CSS, no JavaScript or anything like that. And any additional languages or scripting involved were done by someone else. For example, there were code snippets and variables built with handlebars.js, but all we had to do was insert them. We were just expected to build the HTML and CSS portion, that's it. And for the last question, it is, what was the test and interview process like 
for email development. As far as the test and interview process, once I applied, there was a basic screening and then a code test. And the code test kind of determined if you would move forward to the next step in the process. And it basically involved building an HTML email and it had to meet specific requirements. Yeah. <laughs> like making sure to include this kind of code or that kind of feature. And I was given a design to follow. And then once submitted, I was invited to interview with the team. The interview process was mostly about my past experience as a developer, and if I was familiar with tools like GitHub. There were also behavior questions such as how would I handle this situation or that situation? Why do I want this job, etc. Then shortly after an offer was made. But as I mentioned, every company is different. Some companies may very well require JavaScript knowledge for email email developers, or as someone mentioned, Salesforce. I think that just all depends on what kind of processes that they currently already have set up. With some companies, you may be doing more work with some less work in regard to the email development process itself. And I think we'll be seeing more and more companies looking for this skill. We're already seeing it now. Maybe even more companies will be more entry level friendly in regard to this skill as maybe processes become more organized or even standardized. But who knows, that's just my guess. One thing I forgot to mention is as far as email development, I recommend getting familiar with HTML, CSS, of course, and also table-based coding, unless a framework or something like that is being used. Um, if you're building emails from scratch, then table-based coding is a good thing to know how to do. So practice your table-based coding if email development is something that you plan on doing. Of course, there are other ways to build emails, but this is how I built emails when I was working as an email developer. So hopefully this helps those that were curious about this info. Also, anytime I see trending questions in the comments or questions that come through Instagram or LinkedIn, Twitter, I'll try to do more of these Q and A's. Of course, no one has all the answers, but I'll certainly try my best from the experience that I do have. Someone also asked if I could build an HTML email live. And to answer that, at the moment, my focus is more on web development. So time-wise, I'm pretty limited on committing to lengthy coding projects that aren't aligned with my goals at the moment. But again, I wanted to point out the tutorial that I mentioned earlier, W3 newbies build responsive HTML email templates with HTML tables and CSS, and the HTML email mastery build responsive HTML email templates course. After gaining experience, I can tell you that these helped me out a lot. Compared to what I actually did on the job, it was very similar. So those actually take you through a lot of what you need to know for email development. I will be doing coding videos, but not necessarily email coding because it's not really something I'm aiming to do in the next step of my career. But I'm always happy to point you to resources that I think are helpful. Another thing I wanted to mention was check out the Email Geek Slack channel. When I was an email developer, I was invited to join. It's a Slack community specifically for email developers. And from what I saw, it can be very helpful if this is something that you really wanna do. That's all I have for today. I wish everyone the best of luck on their tech journey. Again, this channel is all about my tech journey. Listen, one word of advice, life, career, it is not a straight line. Your path is going to be different from everybody else's path. Your path is going to be different from my path and my path is going to be different from your path. So it's important to remember, stay focused on the fundamentals. Don't compare yourself to someone who's been in tech five years, two years, or even a year. If you're just beginning, focus on the fundamentals. Don't try to learn everything in one day. Just take it one day at a time, learn the fundamentals, get to know HTML, get to know CSS, get to know table-based coding, and just take it one day at a time. If you have to just do like 30 minutes to an hour of coding a day. Now, there's a YouTuber I really like. He talks about 20 minutes a day. And even though you do those 20 minutes, you're gonna wanna go longer. So you'll do 20 minutes, but then you're like, oh, I wanna go another 20 minutes, another 20 minutes, and next thing you know, it's been three hours. Just enjoy the process. Don't try to overthink it. Just take it one day at a time. And again, don't compare yourself to developers. Don't, comp don't even compare yourself to people who started at the same time as you. Focus on yourself, focus on your strengths as a person in tech, and focus on things you wanna work on and improve on. And again, it is not a straight line. My journey has not been a straight line, more like squiggly lines. <laughs>
So I'm grateful for everyone who has decided to join Jashelle Tech TV and stay connected with my journey. And I'm excited to keep sharing my journey with you and keep connecting. Again, we don't all, we don't have, nobody has all the answers, but that's why I wanna build a community to just build something positive and have a safe space for everyone to come and talk and join and share knowledge. So that's what this is about. So again, good luck to everybody on their tech journey. Also, I try to respond to comments within at least a few days. Sometimes I get busy, I get focused on other things, but understand that I read the comments, I care about the comments, and I wanna be sure to help everybody as much as I can that, that drops by this channel. So just wanted to say that and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.